In this video, I'm going to show you how to use EasyBib to craft an MLA citation. Now, if I'm at this point, it means I've already done a few things. I've already identified my topic. I've already identified two articles relevant to the monthly current events prompt. And I've already completed two sets of the how to uh, read a nonfiction text and how to analyze a nonfiction text graphic organizers. So here I am at one of the articles, and what I hope you'll notice about this article is that this is the citation, this is the article, I guess, from which the citation that I'm using as an exemplar comes from. The exemplar comes from a student who used this article during last March's current events uh, journal. So here I am, I'm at the article, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the URL, I'm then going to go to EasyBib, and now that I'm in EasyBib, well, let me quit out of this. Now that I'm in EasyBib, I'm going to paste the article into this space. I'm then going to go to cite it. You can see that EasyBib actually gathers information for you. Now it says here that they were unable to gather the information for the citation. So what I need to do, and we can see this here, is that I'm gonna to need to do a few things. First, I'm going to need to put in here the article title. So that would be Marco Rubio trounces Donald Trump in Washington, D.C. presidential primary. I'm just going to copy and paste that. Now I'm going to look for the author. I go back to the article, and we can see right here that the author is David Smith. So I go here, I'll type in David, I'll type in Smith. You'll notice that he is the author as opposed to the editor. Oftentimes that will be the case, although with Newzilla, sometimes it is the editor. So just make certain you're aware of that. Next, the website title. The website title is simply, and we go back, it's theguardian.com. So I'll just go www.theguardian.com. Publisher, and I'll go back here. The publisher, as we can plainly see, is The Guardian. Just write that in. Sometimes you'll find that the publisher is not the place from which you are getting the news. For instance, Newzilla does not generate a lot of original content. Instead, what they do is they actually take content from other sources. So, for instance, you might find yourself get, uh, reading an article from the Chicago Tribune, for instance, um, or Al Jazeera America, and you might find that it's on the Newzilla website. So, just always keep an eye out for that. Now, the next thing here is that you'll see that the URL has actually already been inputted for me. So while there were a lot of things that Newzilla did not pick up on, it did pick up on the URL. Now, you'll notice that this is marked yes. I always want you to display the URL. Let's make certain that we do that. In terms of electronically published, we would go back to the article and we would find that that would be Sunday the 13th of March, 2016. So let's go back here. And that was the 13th, it was March, and the year was 2016. And for date accessed, oftentimes it's just gonna be to click the button today. So that would be today's date, the date I'm creating this video. And what I would now do is click Create Citation. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now, though. It is a good idea in general. From here, I'm going to simply copy this, and then I would go into my, um, I'd go into my September uh, current events document in OneNote, and I would add this to the citation section. I would then, of course, having only done one citation, go to the second article that I identified to be relevant to the monthly current events prompt. And what I would do is I would then copy and paste that one in there as well. Hope this video helps, guys.